the most awesome concept bikes. Ever look off into the distance and imagine what a road bike might look like in the year 2035? Even if you don't, don't worry about it. This collection of concept bikes shows that bike designers do it quite often. Concept bikes are made to get people's attention, but they rarely go into production, which is too bad because some of these look like a lot of fun. Some of the designs are crazy just for the sake of it, but some look like they were made with a lot of thought and could work. In no particular order, here are some of the maddest and coolest and most interesting. PG Bugatti Urban Bike The PG Bugatti town bike we saw at Eurobike in 2017 is supposedly for sale, but it costs more than a slightly crazy 35,000 pounds. And that's just for the basic model. Customized versions can cost up to 69,000 pounds. It's supposed to be the lightest urban bike ever, weighing only 5 kilograms, thanks to high-tech parts like the lightweight Meilenstein wheels. Just what you need to go with your 200,000 pound car, right? The Guillaume Belt and Zebra Carbon Fiber Penny Farthing Guillaume Belt, a computer graphics artist, rethought the classic ordinary bicycle from the Victorian era, also called a Penny Farthing, as a modern off-road ready machine with a carbon fiber frame and suspension for the small rear wheel. His renderings have an uncanny lifelike look and well thought out technical details. Canyon Orbiter Downhill E-Bike the German direct sales company Canyon likes to make bikes that stand out. This is one of three bikes from Canyon in this roundup. It was made by German university student Daniel Frenz, and it's called an urban gravity bike. It's meant to be ridden down the steep alleys of towns that cling to steep mountainsides, or just to fly down the trails at your local bike park and easily climb back up using the power assist. Some of the crazy features include two hub motors and an electric transmission. The cranks would turn a dynamo, which then would power the wheels, and could be what'll happen with this one. Specialized FUCI What happens if you throw out the strict rules that the UCI has for designing road race bicycles and let your imagination run wild? If you're the creative director of the company, Robert Egger, this specialized FUCI is for you. Egger says the UCI is for a very small group of people, but there are so many other people who couldn't care less about it. They don't watch the races, and they don't even know all the rules about the bikes that UCI riders have to follow. So I thought, let's make a road bike for someone who just wants to go fast. Canyon EcoSpeed the recent Canyon EcoSpeed concept bike is an electric bike that's powered by hydrogen fuel cell and has disc brakes, a hidden drivetrain, and suspension in the front and back. Looks like something Robocop would ride, doesn't it? Cannondale has made some bikes that have been controversial over the years. The SERV, which stood for Cannondale Ergonomic Race Vehicle, showed how road bikes could change in the future. It has a geometry that can be changed on the fly, so it can go from being a fast race bike to a comfortable endurance bike. GT Milano There's a lot more interest in utilitarian and cargo bikes these days, and this cool GT Milano could change from an urban road bike with electronic shifting and hydraulic drum brakes to a cargo bike with a module that bolts to the front of the bike. It has two powered wheels that make it easier to move when it's full. Lexus Hybrid Bicycle Concept there have been a lot of slightly crazy concept bicycles from the car industry, and we probably haven't seen the last of them. In 2010, Lexus made this car with a carbon fiber frame, small wheels, an electric motor, and regenerative braking. Cannondale on Concept Folding Bike Again from Cannondale, this time it's a concept folding bike that isn't small like a Brompton, but more like a regular-sized road bike. The hinge is open and closed with a button, and it folds in half to make it easy to carry. We've come a long way since 2007 when this bike was first shown, but there are some similarities between it and the new Slate. HMK 561 Carbon Fiber Electric Bike Concept this sleek-looking bike has a carbon fiber frame, but it also uses the conductive properties of the frame material as a power distribution network to send electricity made by regenerative braking to motors between the rims. Cube Urban Street Concept Bike When it comes to concept bikes, urban bikes have always been interesting to bike designers. The idea behind the Cube Urban Street was a folding bike that could fit in a rucksack, but unfolded would be the size of a regular road bike. The lights were built right into the frame, and they were powered by a dynamo in the front wheel. This bike inspired by a Porsche 911. David Schultz, the senior lead user experience designer at Microsoft, was inspired by the Porsche 911 to make this fast, light, simple, tough, and timeless urban commuter. It looks like it's all of those things. BMC Impec Concept Bike 
This bike from a few years ago shows that the Swiss bike company BMC isn't afraid to think outside the box. It was made by the company's Impec Advanced Research and Development Lab. It might look like a road race bike if the UCI didn't have rules. The most important parts of this bold design are the disc brakes, low slung aero frame, hidden drivetrain, and computer head unit. Mazda Concept Track Bike Another car company is trying its hand at making bicycles again. This beautiful track bike from Mazda looks like it was made from a single piece of metal, giving it a very sleek and simple look. One of the best ideas we've seen over the years. J. Reuter Inner City Bicycle There are many different kinds of urban bikes in this one, made by a design firm in Michigan, changes what we usually think of as a bike. It looks like a smaller version of a mountain bike. There's almost no frame, the pedals are attached directly to the back wheel, and there's a disc brake in front to slow down. Chris Boardman Intelligent Bike Concept Chris Boardman showed off a concept for an intelligent bike in 2009. The bike would be smart enough to track how many calories you burn as you ride. It would also have a solar-powered motor to help you when you need it, and a full carbon fiber frame with spokeless wheels and tires that don't get flat. This is what he thought bikes would look like in 2029. Canyon MRSC Connected Project Bike Canyon's MRSC bike from a few years ago gave a glimpse of a fully connected future and some of the techs might be closer to being made than you think. It has built-in communications and is fully GPS enabled, so it knows where you are and can track your rides. It also can be used to call for help in case of an accident. Scott's Futuristic Aero Race Bike this concept bike from ex-Scott designer Julien Del Cambre looks like it's ready to ride. It might be one of the more realistic looking ones from the past few years. With its low profile frame, hidden brakes, and very deep section wheels, it sure looks fast. Possibly the next foil aero road bike? Specialized S-Works Shiv Aero Tandem at the 2010 Euro Bike Show, Specialized show off this crazy two-rider bike. It has a hidden shaft drive that connects the two crank sets and the all-in-one seat. Seat post and rear handlebar units can be taken off to make the bike fit each rider's needs. Design expert in charge Robert Egger is said to have ridden it with Fabian Cancellara as a stoker, which must have been like strapping on an engine. Concept 1865E Velocipede this is another new idea that we saw at the Eurobike show. It was made by the plastics company BASF, the product designers Ding 3000, and the carbon magicians THM Carbons. It looks like a carbon fiber penny farthing. Cannondale Inline Skate Bicycle We saved the craziest concept bike for last, and Cannondale should take a bow. We don't think anyone's ever come up with a better idea. If you've ever wondered what a bike and an inline skate would look like together, here's your answer. Are both worlds at their best? Perhaps not. What's really crazy about this bike is that Cannondale didn't just make a model and put a guy on it for pictures. This is a prototype that can be ridden. Well, that's the idea. This was the prototype that got rid of the big front wheel to make it more aerodynamic. However, by doing so, it also got rid of a major source of bicycle stability. Libor Karas, a champion trials rider, was the only person we ever saw ride this for more than a few meters. So, which one's your pick? Fill out the comment space below to let us know what you think, and with that, I must end today's video. We hope it was fun for you to watch, and remember, we can't do this without you. So please subscribe to our channel and check out more of our great videos. Thanks for watching.